if you close your eyes What is going on everybody? I'm Nerd Domez and welcome back to Eat the Beast Horizon 3. I did turn on the volume in game a little bit because I was listening to some music while playing the game on my own. What did I do in between episodes? A lot of things. I made myself a portal to the nether. Didn't do much in the nether itself. I only went there to get some glowstone dust which is absolutely necessary for what we are going to be doing today actually it's going to be very necessary for what we are going to do today uh, so let me quickly get all this stuff ready what i need so first things first we are going to get a chaos altar which i just saw i need more obsidian for that two more pieces right i'm gonna get that off camera and i need some passive nylon uh pylons nylon chaos pylons or some burner now burner is uh, it's a bit more expensive and a bit more difficult to make so let's just go with this which holy crud uh okay i need to get some quartz apparently let's first make ourselves a bit of a new tool a very good new tool i'm sorry if i'm a little bit sniffly uh yeah Nothing I can do about that, really. So yeah, how are you all doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. And also make some gold rods. Because I want to make a new sword and a new pickaxe. Don't think I can upgrade this one. <laughs> Anyways, I want to make supercharged pickaxes. Mainly because they are, like, really fast. And the supercharged sword, like the onyx sword, 15 damage. And the supercharged uh, onyx sword is 15 attack damage. So yeah, that's a lot better. And the attack speed is a bit better. So yeah, let's get that going. I need to make myself some supercharged crystals. I know the recipe out of, of the top of my head right now. I Well, I actually think I... Oh yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then the Chaos Essence like that. And that makes Supercharged and Decolite. I went for this because Harvest Speed is ridiculous. Like, this already has a pretty good Harvest Speed of 11. But this is going to have more Harvest Speed. And then I wanted to do Onyx because it's still the best uh, attack damage that I have found myself. And now, was it the gold one that was good for swords? Yeah, see, I'm gonna make the gold for the sword because it has better melee damage. 15.5 melee damage. That's pretty ridiculous. And then for the pickaxe, I wanted more durability. Well, I, can, I wanted more harvest speed, basically. And there, that's going to have... 16.1 harvest speed and it's a mine level of cobalt which is not applicable to this mod pack because we don't have any cobalt in this mod pack and let's see it's got 2000 durability unlike this which has still 1100 durability but oh yeah, and i do, do still have my iron hammer yeah let's go down into the mines and see how fast this little beast is but still 15.5 for the onyx sword right so that's pretty freaking fast and that's without any upgrades i can give it a harvest speed upgrade uh, or enchant because you've got enchantment tokens in this so you don't have to actually enchant them at a thing and that's easily made you get 12 of those that's awesome i think efficiency and fortune might be nice ah, this, so this has a bunch of weird other enchantments so touch might be nice ah, beheading so I could do that for my sword. Knockback. Knockback is definitely going on this sword. Looting will be going on the sword. Sharpness will be going on the sword. But let's first see about efficiency. That uses barrel. 
Do I have any barrel? I'm gonna quickly check and then I'll probably get things done in between episodes. Oh no, please don't crash game. Please don't crash. And it just crashed. I'll be back in a minute. And I am back from where we left off. No, actually not really. I did do quite a bit of stuff in between the last time you see me and right now. I need to quickly keep checking my audio levels to see if the peak zone is about in the yellow or in the red so yeah uh okay right what were we doing i believe we were busy with the silent gems which i already did quite a bit of like here i made myself one of these which i'll show the recipe yeah, i need to go here and show the recipe so you need to first make the fragile which only takes one diamond then you need to use that with some enriched chaos essence to make the refined and then yeah if you get crystallized chaos essence which i am nowhere near getting that you can make the perfect chaos orb but that's no problem at least not for me because i'm not gonna be using that anywho uh so yeah this is why i wanted the supercharged and that charging stuff because that's what you can do with this also i figured out that you do not need to use the exact same uh gems that you used in the creation of the tool and you also don't need the supercharged gems to uh upgrade the tools so that's awesome yeah so this is actually really nice for mining this uh it works much better than a uh well it works just about as good as a uh tinker's hammer anywho what were we doing um before i left off i completely forgot i think we were thinking about the power setup power situation uh having trouble speaking apparently yeah see i wanted to start doing a bit of mining here for some things also now my supercharged indicolite pickaxe is efficiency free with fortune one actually so fortune one is really it still needs quite a bit more fortune on it but at least it's a bit extra yeah fortune one is not the greatest but it's at least something and i'm not gonna be using the fortune aspect for coal well I'm going to if I'm going to be mining coal, but that's not the goal of the fortune on this pick. It's mainly for other ores, but if I do end up mining coal with it, no worries. So yeah, I'm gonna see about getting all the materials ready for the tree power farm, the renewable thing that I told you about with uh, thermal expansion here. I'm gonna get all that stuff. Uh, that stuff set up and then i'll uh, see you in a bit okay and there we are again i just did a bunch more of crafting to get this stuff ready <laughs> yeah you can see a lot of stuff is in here so here the refractioning oh crud uh let me get okay one nickel gear that should be easy for nickel one iron and then let me also get two more glass i've got some cooking up in here so yeah that should be fine now i can make my refractioning still which takes one nickel gear and this so this should be enough to do that arboreal extractor wait why is it only giving me so much oh wood yeah i need to get some more wood so I'm gonna get some more wood and then craft up the rest of this and then I'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. I did a lot of work off camera to get this started, but as you can see, everything should be working right now. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of work to do, but hey, in the end, it's worth it. So I'm gonna try to show you at least how so here one uh arboreal extractor per corner of the tree i tried to grow a four by four um spruce tree but for some reason that did not work uh, let's 
quickly check the light levels to see if I can get it pretty decent and there shouldn't be able to be any mob spawns over there so what I did was I basically ran all of it down here uh, removed one block and <laughs> connected it all up I know it looks like a mess all of these fluid ducts but hey I don't care it's working it's making plenty of rosin and yeah with the steam dynamo it's uh, producing 40 rf per tick and this guy it's filling up with tree oil so yeah it's got a pretty decent backlog and let's see uh, i actually did use spruce trees because they are the most efficient uh, together with apparently earth trees at getting um, resin which you have to then use the finger magic on to <laughs> to turn it into uh, tree oil which you can use for power so that's awesome so yeah this is what it looks like up top it looks actually pretty decent you know it works and these work they all are working so yeah that's a uh, power setup for now i did get a couple of uh, pam's harvest craft gardens i need to wait for the shaded garden to uh, spread a bit because they do spread actually which is nice and i'm going to get i'll leave at least two of those soggy gardens and then uh put like this and just get stuff because i've been running pretty low on food so i need to start harvesting stuff and actually seaweed might be pretty good and rice hmm yeah i'm gonna make some uh food with that <laughs> because with harvest craft apparently it gives you only one hunger pop that's about that oh and let me quickly go down I do have a um i can hear that my voice is not really too happy with me because i've been actually recording quite a lot this weekend i recorded well this video which took me quite a bit of time to record it's uh it's been oh pecker i made a shovel well i can always use a shovel but that was not what i was going for <laughs> that was a big derp the shovel but hey, I do probably need that at some point, so... Well, you always need a shovel, so that's good. Oh, how could I make that mistake? <laughs> well, by being a noob, I guess. But I'm thinking about maybe making an underground uh, farm. I need to uh, remember to take off my shield when I'm watering things. But I'm gonna probably in between episodes maybe automate this stuff. I don't know. I think that we've been recording for far too long and I'm going to have to do a bit more editing. But hey, I don't mind it. Uh, I've been having fun recording so that's always most important. And I do hope you all have enjoyed uh watching the video anywho i've been blabbling along for way too long let me just make a quick bit of surf and turf because i should have some yeah calamari need to probably get a fish farm of sorts set up i'll probably make the food on my own in between videos so yeah thank you all for watching i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please do leave a like share around with your friends and tell me in the comment section down below what you thought of it if you have any suggestions then also leave those in the comment section and i'm going to have a hell of a time editing this video <laughs> i've been nerd cheers and peace out